Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you see, we have another Miata. My girlfriend Emily finally got a Miata. We went and picked it up yesterday. Here to drove like six hours in total. So my Miata is in the background right there. And then this is hers. And unfortunately we cannot get played it to Monday. It's Saturday right now. But um so I noticed as soon as I got it that there's a I don't know if you can see that back there. Right over there. This oil leak, the valve cover gasket is leaking like super bad. And it needs an oil change. So first thing we're gonna do, uh, valve cover gasket, and then we're gonna do an oil change. Uh, the car is on Raceland coilovers. I don't know what kind of wheels these are, and he it has an energy wheel which I don't like. She doesn't like it either, and he has a uh, energy quick release. And uh, the car is pretty clean. It only has a couple of spots of rust there, there, but barely anything. Uh, which I'm surprised we got it for a good price. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we need to raise it from the front a little bit. The back is fine, but the front is super low. So if you guys never uh, done a valve cover gasket on Miata, I'm just gonna do a quick how-to. Pretty simple. Just take all the bolts on the top, and the of course the wires for the spark plug, and the PCV valve hose, and the valve cover comes right off. So she says she's gonna do everything. I'm not gonna help her. I'm pretty sure she got this. Come here. Let's start. Well, no, do it the other way. But actually, if you want, just take the whole thing out. So it'll be, it'll be easy for you. Take what So yeah, just, just take them all out. All the way? You gotta take them off the wall cover now. Just cover them like this. Like this. Like oh, okay. Oh, this shit's dry, bro. Yeah, it is fucking dry. I got some, some red ones there. I'm gonna put it on for you. Yeah, those are looks like AIDS. Take them all the way off? Yeah. I think I have spark plugs, so we're gonna put new spark plugs on this thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so she saw, she got the valve cover out. Super simple. Got it sitting in there. Uh, so now I'm just gonna clean the edges, just make sure everything is nice and clean. And then, actually, I'm just gonna take the spark plugs off uh, since we're already here. All right, so she is putting our TV on the corner. So if you guys do this, I have to put our TV on each corner. She hasn't finished. She has to do this cam. Um, but you put our TV on each corner, so when you put the gasket, it seals because usually they leak. And that's the only place you have to put a little. You know, that's how much you need. It's a tiny bit. Nothing else. That's all. You know, I've done so many valve covers, and I never had any leak. So I know this method works. And the spark plugs, I took them off and they were pretty bad. Um, this is the worst one. They're not that bad, they're just like super old. They look like super old. This one's a focus. They look like shit. So I got this on, putting them on right now. All right, so she got the valve cover on and now she's just setting out the, the bolts down. Uh, I'm gonna have her use this impact gun, which I don't really recommend, but you can just barely press it. Just for them to get snug enough and then you can use a ratchet and the way that you want to tighten down it's on the outside part so uh, i think you, you start on this one and you go all the way around and then to the middle and then you do it again and just a little by little each time just so the valve cover gasket uh, sits like evenly and uh yeah that's it super simple Alright, so I went and found the uh, MSD plugs I have. So this MSD came with my 70,000 mile Miata. Um, they're brand new, the guy you know, put them on brand new. So, they should be way better than those crusty ones that are probably 1,000 miles old. And like, this gasket that was on it, it was horrible. Like, it was all toasty, it, like it took so much strength just to get it out of the valve cover. So I don't know when was the last time they changed that. Um, but the next thing is she's doing an oil change, and probably while she does it on oil change, I have to do an oil change on my mom's SI. Um, and then just go over my fluids on my Miata for tomorrow. I got autocross tomorrow, so if you guys want to watch the video, make sure to click that subscribe button. And maybe while she's on, as it has the car on the air, I'm gonna lift the front a little bit uh, because you can see it's pulling the um, defender, and I do have to roll the fenders, so that's probably next week or whenever we get that. So she got them on. Uh, now I'm just gonna add some coolant because the reservoir has no coolant. Uh, the radiator is full, but the reservoir needs some coolant. But we're gonna back it up 
uh, put it on the jack stands, and then just get the oil changed down on this one. And while she does that, I'm gonna do the, the mom's car, so she can go the, get the keys. They're on the toolbox. So back it up, do the oil change, and I'm using 1030 Rubber One with a K and N filter. Actually, not there. This is for the my car. Use it with the K and N filter. All right, so we got the oil filter on. Surprisingly, the last owner had a K N filter. So, but this oil looks was like super fucking black, and I'm pretty sure they haven't changed it in like over 5,000 miles. But um, so we're about to fill some oil. A good oil, 10:30, uh, and uh, hopefully we do not make a mess, which I always do. I think this take uh, four and a half. I mean four quarts. I should put like 3.5, and I'll check the tip stick and see how much more we need. All right, guys. So we're done with the car for today. Um, she did a great job, as you can see. Car is done. Oil is all filled up. I'm actually doing the oil change in my mom's car right now. I'm letting it drain. But that's it for this video, guys. If you guys want to watch more of her Miata. You know, soon will be more. I want to get her better wheels because I don't like these. I mean, they're pretty nice to be honest, but um, yeah, they look just kind of weird. I don't know. I think they're 14s. I want to get her 15s. But um, it, tomorrow we're gonna go to a drift event. I'm gonna be taking the Miata. My brother's gonna be taking his 350Z, and hopefully some of my friends can show up. I was gonna take the 240, but nope, not working. Um, so if you guys want to watch more, make sure to click the subscribe button, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.